everyone this is dr sarala welcome to millet magic in today's video we'll be speaking about all that you need to know about little millet and it's the last of the five positive millet series if you haven't already watched our videos on all that you need to know about the other four positive millets please do so by clicking on the links in the description box below so let's hear about my favorite millet from Dr. Khader. Hello everyone. Today we will uh, speak about little millet. Little millet is the smallest of all the five positive millets. And uh, it is off white and looks creamish and uh, has fiber content 9.8%. Little millet scientifically is known by name Panicum sumatrans. In English we call little millet and in Telugu we call Samelu, in Kannada Same, in Hindi Sama or Kutki and uh, very important for most of the reproductive systems problem in human race. Both men and women can be uh, healed for their problems connected to reproductive systems. And uh, historically, um, the little millet is known as African millet. And what it means is that African continent, almost all the African countries were using uh, little millet as their uh, food, staple food. And uh, little millet grows in three months to three and a half months and it's very easy to grow and it's very sturdy and no problems whatsoever with any insects and such things while you have the pinnacle while the grain is formed the one rain is good enough and it gives very good yields and it is the easiest to digest of all the positive millets and little millet is the best for wound healing. We have a um, mythological story. Uh, Lord Venkateshwara came to the seven hills uh, searching for Padmavati and then he had a wound to the head and he was unconscious. Vakula Devi, his mother, happened to nurture him back to health uh, with little millet porridge. And uh, thus goes our healing process of many bone fractures and wound healing, including diabetic gangrene has been healed with the use of this little millet in many, many patients. Secondly, little millet is used in vrata that is fasting time. It's called Vratka Chawal in Northern India. Vratka Chawal means if you eat once, you can be sustaining yourself for a long period of time, for the till next day actually. Upavas it is called and fasting time. So it is very uh, clear that it can keep releasing glucose in small amounts and make you energetic all the day along. So that's another uh, good thing about little millet and it has been uh, recommended for most of this sustainable energy release sports like marathon running or long hours of play tennis like this so sports persons grain this little millet is on top of it little millet with its 9.8 percent fiber and of course, it is balanced in many of the other nutrients like protein, niacin, uh, riboflobin, all these elements of uh, uh, minerals. Everything is very balanced uh, grain this is. Microbial imbalance, hormonal imbalance, glucose imbalance. These three imbalances cause us a lot of diseases. Out of this hormonal imbalance is particularly uh, very much uh, helped by little millet fiber. So what it means is that if you have thyroid problems, 
if you have PC body problem, if you have uterus problems, if you have menstrual problems, especially off late due to consumption of milk, many girls, 90% of the girls are facing PC body, polycystic ovary disease or polycystic ovary syndrome. All these kinds of hormonal imbalance that is created due to our wrong food choices of the present day modern day, this little millet fiber can start healing. Many of the issues connected to the women, uh, uterus, endometriosis, all these issues have been successfully helped by this consumption of little millet. What we mean is you eat three days of little millet and then each other millet, four millets, one each of the day of the week. And that cycle of three to five months of use has completely eliminated thyroid problems in thousands of patients. Of course, there is a, a misconception or myth going on in the uh, social media that if you eat millets, thyroid problem increases. Actually, it's a goitrogenous problem increases. It is not true. It is very safe and very good for even kids. In fact, uh, history shows us that when the kids started uh, to start food, solid food, this is the first grain that is given as annaprash, we call annaprash. So that is the uh, beauty of this uh, solid little millet. Since we are talking about hormone imbalance, little millet is involved in various diseased conditions like uterus problems that means heavy bleeding not having bleeding at all or the post amendment of menstrual cycles that is appearing two months once or 45 days once or appearing very early 15 days once and having painful menstrual cycles or absolutely not having periods at all for six months, one year like that. So these conditions also result in loss of hair for women and appearance of hair on unwanted parts like moustache and other parts. And in men, the same hormonal imbalance results in uh, erections problems, early ejaculation, sperm count being less of late the men have sperm count going down up to 20 million whereas it should have been 120 million and this kind of problems are surfacing of late because of the choices of the foods that we are making apart from this we also have the most important problem being the kids the mothers feeding the kids have milk not appearing in enough amounts and the quality of the milk being affected. All these issues can be healed by consuming little millet for wonderful uh, results. When we start understanding the human physiology, the cleaning up of this reproductive system by the fiber of little millet heals many of the problems appearing in the human race. So having understood that little millet has a role to play in producing the sperms and cleaning up of the uh, uh, genital uh, system in women, it should automatically lead us to think that to produce the next generation being healthy, you need to plan well and start eating little millet in more quantity. That means three days in a week you eat little millet and then each day other millets one one day, one a week. So on this rotation the would-be parents, that is the couples who want to have babies, they can have this planning say one to one and a half years before itself you start doing this, the sperm will be healthy, the ovum will be healthy and the generation, next generation, the babies will be born healthy. Of late, we have had many kids being born as attention deficit syndrome and autism and disabled kids. All these kinds of issues are due to the reproductive system 
not being healthy in both men and women so to clean up and to have good baby healthy babies it's very important we plan ahead of the time and then after the baby is born also to have good quality milk this little millet comes in very handy and also it is being very easily digestible uh, you should also keep this in mind that when the human body gets fever or discomfort the best food or grain to go is little millet to conclude we thus understand that each of the five positive millets has its own cleansing and healing properties using them in different proportions based on the medical conditions we have will help us to remove the diseased condition and become healthy we need to remember to use all the five positive millets to cleanse all our body systems and thus gain complete all round health these forgotten grains were the staple food of our ancestors and by making them our staple grains now we can ensure a healthier present and a healthier future stay tuned to millet magic for recipes tips and tricks on how to make healthy and tasty food using millets until then happy cooking